Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is just a quick video um, explaining the things I've mentioned about spine magnets in videos. I've mentioned, um, I don't know if I've mentioned them a lot or anything, but I've mentioned magnets that I get on my spines for uh, certain steel books that I dislike the way they're designed. Like, and I'll go over a couple of them. So the first one I want to describe, and I think this is the one. These are the the line of steel books that actually made me decide to do this. Is there's a guy on eBay and Blu-ray.com actually. Um, whose information I'll put in the link below, whose name I don't remember, Drum X or something like that. Um, I think it's his name on Blur.com and eBay, but like I said, I'll give you the, the links below. He's a guy who makes magnets that you can put on your spine for uniformity, for collections. He has an entire collection of all the X-Men magnets or, like, you know, uh, steel books and magnets for them. Um, just about every steel book that's come out, I think he's had some sort of... Uh, magnet that he put out. Well, I guess I should say all of them. Just the ones that are kind of complicated. The Marvel ones are big. Um, Star Wars. Um, I guess I can show you too. This is the regular uh, Star Wars uh, release, uh, Return of the Jedi. And all of those those six releases, the first three and then uh, the prequels, have the exact same spine. It's Star Wars and then it has the um, the name, Return of the Jedi, Phantom Menace, whatever. And they all look really nice together. Now, as you can see here, I'll put them side by side. You can see that together these look pretty good because it's the exact same style. Star Wars The Last Jedi. But this is actually a magnet that I added, that I bought from him. This is what it looked like before. Star Wars The Last Jedi, which is fine, of course, if you don't care about that kind of stuff. But this is what it looks like side by side. And for someone like me, who spends a lot of money on their steel books and collects them, it just it was one of those things that well, it's not like a deal breaker, it's just an annoyance of continuity. So, this guy on eBay, he sells these, or he makes them and sells them, designs them to look exactly like, or very similar to, the other line of steelbooks, and he makes it so you can put them on the side like this. See, look. You just put it along the side, and it's good to go, I think. It's about straight. Like I said... I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks much better, doesn't it? And of course, that's a personal thing, too. If you don't want to spend money on that, then obviously you wouldn't. Because these are about... Um, I don't think he charges for shipping, but so they're about 4 to $8 per, depending on rarity, depending on how many he's made. Um, and that's just one for like continuity of a series. Uh, I got two more designs here that are different. Like, if you know the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, this, I think it's the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Um, I think it's such a regular, yeah. It's uh, Blu-ray and 3D, which I don't have anymore. I believe this is the only release of this. Um, initially, as you can see here, it just showed the, the buttons for, like, a cassette player, which is a cool design, but on the shelf, it's just like, what is that? I have to pull it out. I mean, I, obviously, I would know what it was, but when showcasing it, it was just kind of... An irritating thing. So he made these, and he actually made a different couple different designs. Um, you could get it with the Marvel Studios, I believe, above the design. You could get it kind of a squished look if you wanted that, like the Marvel Studios does release themselves. Or you could get it uniform so you can read it the whole way along, which I preferred, so I got that one. Now I think that looks a lot better. Um, I think it even matches if it's the same coloring as the, the spine here, so it doesn't look like it's out of place, personally. Um, I think it looks better, personally. So that's why I did for that. And then for this one, I'll take this off of here. You can, I remember this is the thing that kind of bothered me when this was released. The Deadpool spine, I don't know if this was on purpose or whatnot, but uh, it is backwards uh, than usual for most spines. As you can see, they're usually uh, going the other, like, 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 like a book. This is more of, I think, a German design. German uh, steel books, a lot of them anyway, um, have the the title go in the opposite direction. So I bought one that went the right direction. Like this. And I prefer that. So that's what I'm doing. I like this steel book. I thought that was cool. And of course, like I said, he has a bunch of other designs um, for like the entirety of the Marvel Steelbook line. 
uh, uniform across the X-Men Steelbooks where they form a nice X in the middle, which is irritating though because I'm sure they're going to release more and more. So he, he's mentioned that he'll have to adjust those if you want to do that, but um, he did it for the ones that were released. So I thought it was a very cool thing to do. I thought it was neat. I've, uh, I've bought a couple more over here that I'm not going to show because it's the same idea, but uh, I just thought it was cool. I want to make a video because uh, people have asked about it and uh, that's what I did. So yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, I'll leave his stuff below. So if you want to look into that. So thanks for watching guys. And I will see you around for more studio books later. Uh, bye. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.